everyone welcome back to budget with us uk it's louise here for another video if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for returning and following us on our journey if you have not subscribed why don't you pop over and hit the subscribe button and notification and you will be updated on any new videos that we release we love it when you return we love it when you comment and you share like and thumbs up that's absolutely wonderful we can't thank you enough but anyway today's video as maybe you have been aware if any of you have watched before my debt confession at the end of december where i ended up with quite a bit of debt which I didn't know I had. Well, not that I didn't know, I didn't realize it was that amount of debt. So what I'm gonna do each month is do like a monthly breakdown debt repayments. So I'm gonna show you how much debt I have, how much I'm paying off each month um, through whether it's extra money from what's left over in my weekly budget, from side hustles like selling stuff on Facebook, marketplace, local sites, car boot sales, bit of crafting, you know, things like that. It does not include the Etsy money. The Etsy money just stays in that account and it's for the business and business only. I just want to make it out that everybody just so you are all aware. We decided that we're not going to use the Etsy money towards debt we'd rather leave it in the account and that's just for the business side of it and that's it there might be times that we have used or decided to use a bit of the money out of it for stationary stuff for our benefits for our financial journey like i .e. that we bought the budget mum workbook Yes, I have it. I still have not opened it. It's still not unboxed yet. I know, I know, I know. I really just uh, haven't had the time yet to sit down and work through it. But hopefully this week I will. Because I want to start it for February's budget. But anyway, so we will just continue on now. And I've been talking for about two and a half minutes already. So we will just get into the debt video okay right this is a just something i made up quickly till i look into i believe in the budget mum workbook it does have a breakdown of where you can put your debt repayments and stuff but until i look further into it i've just decided to do this each month on this and then transfer it over to the budget mum workbook so i don't make a mess of it so i've already pre-printed what my debts were or are and how much is the debt of each one and the estimated clear date rough estimate clear date what the actual clear date is which i'm hoping to get beforehand so hopefully you can see this when it all focuses in so yes so if we bring it in a bit closer so we've got the MBNA credit card. I actually thought it was 3,330. It wasn't. It was a lot less. So it was actually 3,161 pounds 69 pence. My capital one, this was all at the end of the beginning of January, end of December, beginning of January. 1,166 pounds 50. The fluid credit card was 2,998.09. I do have to look into that because I did do a balance transfer and as you can see this has been added on the argus card i did balance transfer that into that but when i looked into it further it hadn't come for into the argus card so i looked into it more and apparently they the argus refunded the money back to fluid because there wasn't enough information for them to know where it was coming from 
So I need to ring these things to get this money deducted back off that again and the interest that they're charging me or whatever it is. So I need to look into that this month. Um, Very was £1,423.95. Again, that is interest free. Uh, some of the stuff was interest free to the end of January, some March, some July and some October. Uh, the creation, it's part of what I need to pay. Um, obviously, my husband has got something out of Curry's and, well, what he did, he bought me a new computer, desktop computer and stuff. I just wanted the basic thing, but no, typical man likes his top spec stuff. So, because I wanted the bigger screen, um... I said that I would pay the money towards that. So that is due by December of this year, 2022, before interest will be put onto that. The HMRC overpayment was to do with tax credits when I was allowed it. And they keep saying every year, they keep saying they've overpaid me. So this is the amount I've got to pay. That is interest free. They have set a, 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 weekly, a monthly amount on that, which I'll show you in a bit. Giacomo, 36438, and then obviously the Argus card at 35227. So I will, hopefully if you can see, I'll just turn it to the side so I can write in what the each monthly payment is. So for MBMA, the monthly payment is £143.74. Yes, it's quite high. I'm going to try and get that down below the 100. Uh, the capital one is £83.65. Fluid, which I thought was 127 wasn't. It was £114.89. Again, that's quite high interest, so I want to try and get that down or even down below the £100 mark. Um, very, there was no monthly payment on that because obviously it's interest free. So it was just whatever I could afford each month. Creation, it's again interest free. So I want to have not decided how much to do that. Uh, HMRC, they want £50 a month off me. And that will be cleared by the December 22. Uh, Giacomo is a direct debit of £17.42 a month. I actually looked into this. And I'm paying £17.42 a month. But they're putting like £18 something a month of interest on. For just that small amount. Which is extortionate. So I will talk about this one shortly and then the Argus card is £19.45 a month and that should be paid by April 2023 so as you can see I zoom out a bit so you can see this these are sort of the estimate clear dates roughly that I've worked out so if I continue to pay £143.74 with the interest, it's going to be January 26 before that's cleared. So you're talking four years. Sorry, I was just taking a drink there. Four years of interest of round about, I think I worked out at the minute is £83 or something like that of interest. Capital One again, March 25. Fluid is July 25, uh, very would have, is October of this year, and that's before interest goes on. Uh, creation is December 2022, that's again before interest goes on. Um, HMRP is December 2022, there is no interest going on that, and once that amount is cleared, then I can put that towards another debt. Giacomo is December 2023, and the August would be April 2023. So, <coughs> sorry, just a bit of a tickle in my throat. So, payments made. What I have made this month. So, obviously, you've seen when I did my debt confession that 
the next video I did was clearing my Kaisha envelopes because I decided just to clear everything out bar I think it was my car maintenance which is a, a main biggie just in case if anything happened to my car I had money there to go towards it and I think I worked it out it was something like 1,300 and something I think I had I can't remember offhand now but when I sat down and thought about it what I put my money to so what I did was I paid because the ferry is so high interest more than these I made a payment of 1,000 see if you can see I'll zoom in 1,100 and three pounds ninety six. So that cleared um majority of the stuff up until March of this year. Why I didn't clear that off completely is because it only left me with a balance of four hundred and nineteen pounds ninety nine. That works out roughly about fifty. £60 a month between now and October, which I'll put into my budget on my monthly, which I actually have worked out in my monthly budget, the £50 in that. Now, me, I then, the normal payment in January came out of £143.74 which leaves me with £3,271.49. Yes, it's more because of the interest. So they were adding like £83 of interest off. So really and truly, there was only roughly about £55 coming off this balance because of the interest. Capital One, it was... Sorry, I keep pulling it out of the way. So you can't see. I'll just zoom out. Capital One was eighty was eighty three sixty five and the balance left on that is one five six one forty five. Oh, actually I've done that wrong. The actual payment made was just 80. Oh, I hate this when I make a mistake. 83.65. So my end balance is £1,561.45. Oh, I'm going to have to do that sheet all over again off camera. My fluid, I paid £114.89. I actually paid an extra £100 off that, um, which came out of that £3,000. Or not three thousand, not one thousand three hundred. So two hundred and fourteen pounds eighty nine pence was paid, which brought it down to two thousand eight hundred and sixty seven twenty seven that I get. We will know when my new bill comes in. Creation, I haven't paid anything to it, so the monthly balance on that is. So two hundred and fifty pounds ninety-eight. Fifty pound came off the HLMRC, which is fifty pound came off it, which means it brought it down to five hundred and fifty. As I say, I'm not worried about that. There is no interest going on that at all. So if I find sorry, if I find that I can't afford this fifty p fifty p fifty pound, I wish it was fifty p. Fifty pound. Um, they just said that if my circumstances changes, just to give them a ring, a ring and they'll readjust it. Giacomo was paid seventeen pounds forty two, and same again seventeen pounds forty two. But the balance on that one is three hundred and sixty five pounds ninety nine pence. So yes, you might as well say I haven't paid anything off it. It's went up, but I'll speak about that in a minute. 
and the Argus card was £19.45. I actually paid £30 off that. I had a bit of extra money left. So I decided to put that to it. And that leaves that balance, well, roughly what I think, leaves that balance at £330.15. So as you can see, that's what the monthly thing is. We will calculate it all up. So we will start. So 143.74 plus 83.65 plus 114.89. 50 pounds, 17 pounds 42, 19 pounds 45. So in total, we paid, as you can see, £429, well, the monthly payment was £429.19. The actual payment was made was 14374 plus £83.65 plus 214.89 plus 1003.96 plus 50 plus 17.42 plus 30. Wow. Actual payment in January was 1,543 pounds and 66 pence. Wow. I actually paid that amount. Oh, I can't believe that. If I was able to do that each month, this debt would be cleared quicker. <laughs> but that ain't gonna happen. That unless I win the lottery. <laughs> anyway, £1,543.66 I paid this month. And in total, what is left this total might differ next month with the interest rates but as I say I will update it each month with you so my balance is as you can see Nine thousand six hundred and seventeen pounds thirty two pence and take that away from ten thousand eight hundred and seventeen point eight six. I have paid actually one thousand two hundred and fifty four pound with the interest i think i might make a column here so i know how much but even then dropping that below the ten thousand pound um please really really pleased really really am pleased with it so anyway i want to go back to this jack and more account as you're all aware i do I'll put that up here. I do the hyper jar as well. So as you can see, I'll bring in, zoom in my hyper jar account. I didn't have anything to go into it this week. As you can see, I've got £39.64 pence sitting there. I will transfer that into the wallets on my next video. But what I want you to look at is this one. It says debt repayment payments. So this was the extra money that was not all of it, but some of it was the extra money left over from the 1,300 that I did from the cash envelopes. I've put it in here because what I want to do, because I looked into more of what the Giacomo is, it's 364 pounds, well, 365 pounds, 99 pence. If I was to take that 360 
five pounds ninety nine pence away from what I've got in there two seven seven point oh well just two two seven seven means that I only need to put eight hundred eight pa eighty eight pounds and ninety nine pence to get this cleared. It might be a wee bit more because by the time I get that 88 pounds, 99 pence up. But my aim is with, if I can get back on my hyper jar thing, if it wants it, yep, right. What my aim is, because there's 277 pound here, this 39.64, 25 pound and two pence is from PayPal, which I sold something so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that wallet and I'm going to send to my debt repayments £25. As you can see, it has meant in. So I have moved £25 from my wallet To, as you see, there's 14 pounds 64. To my, there's the 25 pounds added in to my debt repayment. So now I have only got, as you can see, three, I've got 302 pounds now left or in the account, which means I only need to find 63 pounds 66 pence. So that's what I'm going to aim to do is get this one cleared off quickly because of the interest. So once I get that off, hopefully, if I sell a bit more stuff on Marketplace, that's what my aim is now is to clear this one first and then I'll go in and clear this £419 more off that. But as I said, I am putting £50 into that each month. Um, for which has worked into my budget so that should be cleared by October anyway if not before but yeah so that's what my intentions is to do is to clear this Giacomo one first because of the way the interest is on it so that's it anyway so that's my monthly breakdown of my debt repayments I'm amazed that I've actually paid, well, the total was £1,543.66, but with the interest, £1,200 has come off it in a month. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I can't believe that I've actually done that. It just shows you in a space, short of space time from August last year to November, December time, cash stuffing money into my sinking funds each week putting money that i sold to on marketplace uh facebook local sites a bit of craft and everything went into my sinking funds you can do it if you put your head to it and now this has actually made me realize i can do this and i can get out of debt i am not giving myself a time limit i don't want to put pressure on myself because if I say, oh, I'm going to clear £5,000 debt in six months and I don't do it, I will be disappointed and I will just put me off. So I'm just going to, as I say, do each one at a time and that's the way I'm going to do it. So thank you very much for watching me doing this, um, watching me setting this out and updating you all on what I paid with the money I did have a few comments and messages what have I done with the money from the cash stuffing so there it is that's for the month of January I will do one for February it may have some it may not it just depends on what I can sell or what I can save on our other areas but Thank you for watching. If you've watched to the end, please put a thumbs up. You can you put your own thumb up. You can use emoji. You can do whatever. Um, if you haven't subscribed, again, as I said, please hit the subscribe button. 
why don't you jump over to our Etsy store and have a nosy and see all the new products that we have put up and released. And again, thank you very much for following us and continue to give us the support. It is really, really appreciated and it is not going unnoticed. It is helping us, as you can see, with your lovely comments in December when I did my debt confession. This is what I've done with you helping me and backing me there with everything. And I, I just don't know what, I just, I'm overwhelmed with it all. So anyway, until my next video, stay safe, happy budgeting. And as I said, if you want to comment, please do so. Until then, bye for now.